Dr. James Dobson is a man who is making a difference. His doctorate is in psychology and child development at the University of Southern California. He was one of 11 members of the Attorney General's Commission on Pornography. But you know him best, I'm sure, as president and host of Focus on the Family, the most widely syndicated radio talk show in all of North America. When Dr. Dobson returned from his work on the commission, he gathered a sizable group of friends together to brief them on the things that he had learned. We knew you would want to be present. And so our cameras were there. Dr. James Dobson. You will not find uh, many examples of normal heterosexual behavior depicted in those magazines. What you find are large volumes of homosexual violence where men are whipping one another and mutilating one another, fish hooks through the genitalia and mouse traps on the body and things of that nature, or where one man may have his entire arm in the body of another man. You find urination and defecation, um, a whole section given to enemas one man giving enemas to another, a whole section given to vomiting. You find bestiality in great quantities. In one New York City sex shop, there were 46 films and videos depicting sex between women and donkeys, horses, bulls, pigs, etc., 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 Women are shown in the most disrespectful ways you can imagine. They're shown nude and bound and hanging from trees. They're shown kneeling submissively while a man does things to them and on them. They're shown in the most unbelievable ways. There are holes in the wall between the booths to permit anonymous sexual activity between gay men. And by the end of the day, the stench is terrible in that place. And softcore pornography is to hardcore pornography what marijuana is to heroin and cocaine. Uh, Prince, um, you know about Prince? You know that he parades back and forth on the stage when he's given a live concert and masturbates the neck of his guitar and ejaculate flies out of the end of it? Here are the lyrics from uh, Purple Rain, which sold nine million copies. I knew a girl named Nikki. I guess you could say she was a sex fiend. I met her in a hotel lobby, masturbating with a magazine. Sugar Walls was number one. You know what the Sugar Walls are? That's the walls of the vagina. Uh, here is uh, the, the uh, song Like a Virgin from Madonna, Feel So Good Inside. She said, uh, Judas Priest sings Eat Me Alive, which deals with a girl being forced to commit oral sex at gunpoint. In 10 Seconds to Love, Motley Crue croons about intercourse on an elevator. This is what our kids are listening to, and they're buying it uh, by the millions. Uh, dial porn is another such subject that really concerns me. Do you know about dial porn You hear uh, orgasmic sounds. You hear all the words that you can think of. And there is the actual um, drama of a sex act that goes on. And little kids are doing this, and parents don't know it, and the children don't know that it's costing money, you see. D does this anger you? You put a coin in a slot, and a screen goes up, and you see live sex acts. I mean live sex acts. Four or five uh, feet away from you on the other side of the glass are, uh, in the case of what I saw, women, three women, doing everything possible for three women to do to each other. Uh, upstairs, where I didn't go, there are men doing that to men, and you can see women and men together. I mean, who wants to know? Who wants to know? Because who wants to know? I love you all. I know what you stand for. I know your value system. I can see it in your eyes. And I've met a million of you across the country. We draw our values from the same place, from the same book. 
And that's why I can only meet you tonight and already have all of that in common because of that love for Jesus Christ and what he's taught us. And I thank you so much for being here this evening. God bless you all.